The next question, the member for Scarborough Guildwood. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Systemic racism has always existed in Ontario, but many are just beginning to understand and appreciate just how deep and how entrenched it is in our society and our institutions. When our public school system was founded by Egerton Ryerson, it included residential schools for Indigenous children. It underfunded and segregated schools for black students. Higher education at the time was only reserved for boys. Racism is not inevitable. It is designed. It is learned. Addressing systemic anti-black racism early in our education system will remove barriers to success for black students. Will the Premier today instruct his Minister of Education to mandate the true history of black Canadians be taught as a mandatory part of Ontario's education curriculum? Government House Leader. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, obviously this government takes uh, anti-black racism uh, very seriously, as I, as I know all members of this uh, House uh, do. We have been uh, 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 as concerned as anybody has with uh, the events that have occurred over the last uh, uh, number of weeks, uh, not only uh, uh, across uh, North America. I will take uh, the members' comments under advisement and make sure that, uh, uh, that they are forwarded to the Minister of Education. At the same time, uh, the member will know that uh, the Premier worked very quickly to uh, uh, prior to this in December and appointed Jamil Giovanni to, uh, uh, to advance uh, opportunities in the community, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm sure the member opposite will agree that he is a very passionate uh, uh, voice and uh, somebody that I know members on this side of the House are uh, anxious to, uh, to work with, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. But as I said, I will take the member's recommendations and forward that to the Minister of Education. The supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. And back to the Premier. Premier, we heard in this House that this government will not tolerate any racism in its government. But, Premier, the urgency is here. Lives and futures are at stake. We know that systemic racism cannot be rooted out until we understand how deep it truly goes in this province. Despite this knowledge, this government is still underfunding and hindering the work of the anti-racism directorate. You are ignoring the tools that are there to address this problem. Other provinces, like Quebec, have set up an action committee to combat racism. Yet Ontario has only provided the words without meaningful action. And we must work together to change the outcomes for Black, Indigenous and people of colour in this province. So my question to you, Premier, is will you support the creation of an all-party committee to take action on the many dozens of reports that have been presented about the issue of anti-black racism in this province. Will you do that today, Premier? Yes or no? Minister of Children, Community and Social Services. To well, thanks uh, very much, Mr. Speaker, and thanks to the member opposite for the question. Uh, what we have done here on this side is we've introduced a new council. A couple of weeks ago, Jamil Giovanni will be heading up that council, and it's called the Premier's Council on Equality of Opportunity, which is focused on making sure that there are mentors uh, for individuals in the communities that the member opposite referenced. But not only mentors, uh, there's a game plan, Mr. Speaker, and Jamil is putting together the Council right now. Uh, they have until Thursday to uh, put their name forward to be a member of this council, which is actually going to make a substantial difference in the lives of these individuals. Working with our partners that we already fund in this sector, we have 50 different members in the Black Youth Action Plan, Mr. Speaker, that our ministry and other ministries are funding. Black-led groups, uh, for the most part, Mr. Speaker, that uh, will be expanded as a result of uh, financial uh, incentives that were announced a couple of weeks Response. ago to the tune of about one and a half million dollars to ensure that we're getting better outcomes and creating better opportunities for uh, members of these communities across the province. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Very much. The next question, 